all you boils and ghouls. Charlie Murphy here. Once again, back on the death road to Canada. Last time we met, it was down to Crystal and Jason as our last two members of the party. Crystal, the only surviving original member of the party. We uh, had some setbacks. We lost our vehicle. Crystal has been wounded significantly and is hanging on by a thread. However, we did find a powerful ancient battle sword for Jason. And maybe, folks, maybe we can make it. We have two driving days till we get to Canada. Let's just hope that we can hang on long enough to get medical supplies to heal Crystal and hopefully get another party member, maybe two, to help us as we cross in, cross the border to the wintry north, that is. But it is going to be a nail-biter, folks. We're fighting down to the last little bit. Let's continue our game. It is day 14. Crystal is with Jason, and that is all. And the horror continues. Two driving days till Canada. We lose 10 gas. Crystal tries to help but doesn't have enough medical supplies to heal her wounds. Jason makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He is trapped in an alley. At the end of an alley is a heavy garbage can and a large fence. Use parkour abilities or throw the garbage. Well, Jason's a pretty hefty guy. He's pretty strong. His athleticism is good. If his athleticism is good, I'm going to say use parkour abilities. Because, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine that's what athleticism entails. So let's try to use Jason's <laughs> amazing parkour skills. You know, like in all the movies. Jason does a sick parkour flip off some garbage over the fence. No big deal. He brushes off his shoulder. He pops his collar. It's all too trivial a move for Jason. Jason's morale increases. Now he doesn't look like a frowny head. He's Now he's a meh head. Alright, that turned out well. We lose 10 gas. Jason suddenly seems to get a big boost of morale. Oh no! Also, Crystal is missing! She has vanished off the face of the earth. Crystal has left the team. Jason has finally managed to murder every member of the party Jason is the only surviving member of the party oh my god pick it up Jason was the worst mistake I ever made I'm so sorry folks I'm so sorry <laughs> but the show must go on, so we have to continue with our one remaining party member and see if we can make it to Canada. At this point, folks, I don't honestly know. I don't know if we can make it with one man or monster or socio-psychopath, a paranormal killer. Who, who knows at this point? Let's see what we can do. Jason finds a city in the afternoon. The dead swarm over it. They're idle now, but they will notice you soon enough. Swarm size is thick, but they're sluggish. It is afternoon. We can go to the gun shop or the arcade. Honestly, at this point, it really doesn't matter. As you might remember from our last episode, uh, Jason uh, has a sword fused to his hand. And it is the only thing he is able to use. He can no longer pick up or equip any other weapons or useful items. We desperately need more people for the team. But let's see what we can do, folks. Uh, I guess we'll go to the arcade. Maybe there's some snacks and we can pick up some food. I don't know if there'd be food at a gun shop. And we don't need guns anyway. Let's do it! <laughs> I just, I love the idea of Jason driving this car. He's like, mm -hmm. this Prius really gets uh, good gas mileage. Actually, it looks like an old Ford Focus or something. Yeah, right, get out of here, zombie. Oh, hey, hey, what the? Get off of me, you son of a... All right. I'm here to kick butt and chew bubble gum. 
And I can't chew bubble gum with this mask on. Jason is so slow. This is gonna be so hard. Oh no. Yes. Yes, and we found junk. But we do have some food. Oh. You can't have me, zombies. You can't have me. You can't have this supernatural killer. Get out of here. Food. Yes. Food good. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. No, 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 no. All right, let's get out of here. Get off me, you uh, stupid stinking zombie. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if going through all this stuff is is worth it. I think we should kind of conserve our our efforts. I mean, having the food's good. Ah, we got some more medical supplies, so at least I can heal up after this, hopefully. This is bananas, folks. Uh, I am, oh, I'm so disappointed in how things have turned out. And I'm left playing with the cause of it all. Mr. Dumhees deciding to kill everybody in the team. We are getting some food, though. We can't pick up any weapons. See, is there anything up here? There's a chest up there. Let's see if we can get that. We got some bullets. The zombies are being pretty sluggish. That is the good thing. Toilet gas! That always means good news. You know, like it's helped me this whole time. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, hey. All right, let's see what we can get done, folks. All right, we've been in those two buildings. There's another one we can try. And there's nothing. Tra -la -la. Let's see, the arcade should be somewhere close. There we go, quarter muncher arcade. Quarter eater, muncher, whatever. Hey, there's one working arcade machine. Let's clear some of these zombies out and see if we can get some games of Galaga in. Hey! Heck yeah, snack machines, I was right, I was right. What was that? Is that a key or? Whatever it is, I can't pick it up. Heck yeah, food. All right, let's see what we can do here. The arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear how it can run without electricity. With no one trustworthy nearby to watch out for zombies playing, it could be dangerous. Jason plays the arcade game. He plays an old arcade game called Polybius. Ha! <laughs> and really gets into it. Like all video games he's ever played, making it increases your skills with guns. The critics were right. Before Jason knew it, two hours had passed. His shooting is revealed, but his shooting also improved. There was no one around to defend Jason so during this, so he had to fend off zombies while playing. Watch out! All right. It is getting late now, so uh, I think we need to start making making back for the car. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so, Mr. Zombie Head. All right, we got a game of Polybius in. Star shooting skills, which I don't remember if Polybius was supposed to be a shooter or not. But it makes makes sense that a supernatural killer would play a supernatural game. Creepy pastas and all. Get out of my way, yeah, dirty zombie bastard. And there's nothing in here. Oh, 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 what do we got over here? What, 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 what? Food! Die! Junk. Crap. But we got toilet gas. Uh, how you like that? Yeah, 
A mop. Awesome. That's just what I needed. All right, we got one last house to check, and then we need to get out of here. Nothing. All right, we can make for the front. Let's get out of here. Get away from my car. Don't touch my Prius. <laughs> Do not touch the trim. Suck it, zombies. We got 13 food, 2 gas, 2 medical supplies, 14 pistol rounds, and 8 shotgun rounds. 85 zombies were destroyed, and we are still down to one man, but at least maybe we could heal the one wound we got along the way and see what goes on next. Back on the road, lose 10 gas, Jason wipes whatever, something. Jason finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. Jason eats a decent meal. We lose two food. We can go out and chop wood, or we could just go to sleep. Uh, if we chop food, if we chop wood, we're probably going to be tired. So let's just go to sleep. We lose two food. Jason stares at nothing. Jason tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. How? He's got two. What? Ah, Jason finds a radio station. The broadcasting equipment is hooked up to a gas generator with a small amount of fuel left. There's enough power to get out one message to anyone that may hear it. Siphon the generator or send a message. What does our gas look like? Our gas situation, eh, I, it might be good enough to get us to another stop. So let's, let's try sending a message. Jason creates an intense radio calisthenics show moreover whoever is listening to listening joins in with the extra what is this crap i thought he was gonna call for somebody to help us he he creates an intense radio calisthenics show whoever is listening joins in with the exercises the total combined sweat from this could fill up a bathtub disgusting okay we lose 10 more gas an enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only have succeeded in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe Jason will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. We have 35 food left. Let's visit the trader camp. Jason sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas you have. You have 45 gas left. No, thank you. We're right at the border. Why in the heck would we want to do that? All right. Same. Jason sees a lady standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. She takes a quick look at what Jason's carrying. We can sell the Claymore for eight food. That would free him up to use his two main weapons, which would be the machete and the chainsaw. And we definitely could use... We definitely could use the chainsaw trying to get through that final horde. Let's try that. We're going to sell the claymore. Oh, Jason refuses to part with this weapon. The trader is mildly irritated by her time being wasted. We can't even get rid of it if we want to. It is bonded to our hands. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Who, who is this down here? I was in a big team once, but everyone got eaten. Uh, yeah, um, I was I was in a big team once, but... Um, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> let's see. Is there anybody over this way? Uh, I don't see anybody. Uh, let's see what we got going on in camp. Hey, doggo! Terrell is hanging around the camp. Tame, but with no one to follow, he must have been abandoned here. Recruit Terrell for five food, or leave the dog alone? Let's leave him alone for right this second. We may end up recruiting him after all. Who's this over here? Let's see. You don't need some serious firepower to make it to Canada. Jason finds a man near a rusted truck. The truck is full of gas tanks and oily rags. Both the man and the truck reek of gasoline. He offers to sell 10 units of gas in exchange for every food item he gets. You have 35 food left. So 10 units for every food item. So 15, he's going to give us 150 gas. Um, 
let's do 10. That'll leave us 25. Well, actually, let's let's go see what else we got going on first. That seems like a good deal. Ooh, what's going on here? This nerd is surrounded by beeping nerd doodads. I'm not a nerd. I have lots of interests. I go to sports bars. You have 35 food left. Buy a green turret for 6 food, or buy a red turret for 12 food? I don't know. I've never ran into turrets before. I don't even know that I could deploy one with a sword in my hand. Uh, we'll have to say no thanks for right now, but that is interesting. I'm fine with zombies, but I can't handle ghosts. Oh, shut up. Let's see here. Marissa almost made it to Canada. She, Canada. she got as far as the city of Crushed Hopes where the rest of her group was eaten. She offers to join you for 10 food. She has a real good feeling about this attempt. Marissa gives a quick demonstration of her physical fitness. Her fitness is revealed. Um, We need somebody, so absolutely. We'll recruit Marissa. Marissa devours the food. It's like watching a speed eating competition, but with one person. Lose 10 food, Marissa joins the team. Onward to Canada! Sweet. All right, let's see here. What's, what's up with what the? The group finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to the Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. It offers five bullets and four rifle ammo and three shotgun shells per food item. You have 25 food left. No thanks, not right now. We still got some other stuff to do. What's going on here? The group meets a man wielding a homemade spear. Despite being a knife tied to a stick, it seems like it would be a really effective weapon. Nothing beats pole arms for zombie hunting. You have 25 food left. Leave him. Get a bardiche for 25. Stick boot for 6. Or tactical spear for 9. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone there, Mr. Pink Fro person. Um, nice meeting you and your crazy talking dog with guns. Alright, let's go and see if we can run into anybody else. How about those zombies? What a pain am I, right? Let's see here. Fire is very welcome. The group can stay in this camp for a day to rest and check wounds if you can spare the time and food. No time to rest for a second. Let's uh, let's pick up old Doggo. Hey, Mr. Doggo. We're going to recruit Terrell for five food. He devours the food and joins the team onward to Canada. All right, we got us a little group now. And uh, let's see, what kind of food, what kind of... What kind of food are we working with now? We have 20 food left. We could buy a turret. Hmm. Let's see. Man, oh man. See, there's three of us now. So if I rest, that's going to be eight food. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? It's a Dark Souls reference. But. Anyway. Alright. Um, I think we're going to get some gas from this guy. We'll trade him five food and get 50 gas. That ought to be plenty to get us through. Because we've only got one chainsaw. So we get 50 gas. We'll give up five food. So let's buy a turret. Screw it. Let's buy a turret. Let's get the red one. Because... It looks really good. It's a Gatling turret. Nerd is surrounded by beeping nerd doodads. 15 food left. Let's buy a big red turret. Buy a big red turret. The ultimate turret. Throw it and see how zombies get mowed down. No more zombie problems. Until the turret runs out of ammo. Bam. All right. We have got two new companions. We've got Terrell. We've got Mr. Voorhees, and we've got Marissa. Let's see. Doggo's got his claws. But he can't carry a hockey stick, apparently. <laughs> let's see here. Let's go Let's go to the car boot. What's this all about? Ah, get it, Canada. Let's see here. We are going to go to Marissa. We're going to give Marissa the chainsaw and a hockey stick and 
a pistol. We are going to give Doggo. Let's give let's give Doggo a knife or a butcher knife. No, we'll give him a regular knife. There he goes. He can stab people with his knife. <laughs> and Jason has to keep what he's got. Doggo's got two health. Jason has two health. Marissa has full health. Oh, man, oh man. We've got 45 gas, three health, I mean, three medical supplies, 116 pistol ammo, 186 rifle ammo, 57 shotgun shells, which we don't have rifles or shotguns. We've only got three food remaining, but only one driving day until Canada. Folks, I think we're almost ready to face the final confrontation. And here is where we're going to leave it. It didn't look like we were going to be able... What? Oh, we're, it's just considered a mission. Okay, I guess this is not where we're going to leave it. We're going to climb in the car. We're going to start the car and we're going to drive out of this piece. <laughs> Suck it, nerds! Off to Canada! And folks... This is where we're going to leave off. We have one driving, driven driver, one driving day left till Canada. <laughs> and things are actually looking a little bit up. We picked up two new party members. Who knows how much help they're going to be, but three bodies is definitely better than one body. We've got Jason Voorhees. We've got a dog with a knife and we've got a, a person with a bad eye wound and a chainsaw. Will we make it to the border? Will we cross over into the wintry land of Canada and to safety? Who knows? But next time, we will find out on the final episode of The Death Road to Canada. Thank you folks for watching. This is Charlie Murphy. Bye-bye!